I'm going to have I'm going to find it difficult to put in words because um, it it's that high, really. I'm uh, my emotions are going since I'm here. Uh, the human experience is just absolutely great. Um, the exchange, the fact that we're coming from all over the world, the fact that we don't know each other and everything is going so fluidly and uh, the energy is going up and it, for me it's much more, and I think for all of us, it's much more than just building houses. We're kind of creating now the world we're dreaming of. I could nearly cry. <laughs> it's that important, really. Uh, voilà, I'm loving every second of it. Right. Thanks, Elosha. Now I feel confident and capable to build one of these structures myself. Um, so yeah, thank you. And also just the, all the awesome people that we've met and been able to network with around us from all over the world, all walks of life. Um, that's been an amazing experience and thank you very much for allowing that to happen. So this is it. This is what a team of 18 students together with myself have completed in just two weeks. A full retaining wall, a sandbag dome from start to finish and an aircrete structure with two, three days left of work. So I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to our live two-week intensive dome home workshop in Nepal. We're going to be constructing an aircrete structure as well as a super adobe structure all the way from start to finish. You're going to learn how to build foundations. We'll also look into sandbag basics where I'll show you how to make a soil test so you can use soil from your land and combine it with a minimal amount of stabilizer such as cement or lime and how to get the best proportions so your sandbag home stays strong and solid. We'll look into aircrete basics and how to make your own aircrete mix, how to make foam, what detergents to use and what grammage does the foam need to be in order for your form not to collapse. And of course, we'll make our own aircrete bricks from start to finish. We'll also have a detailed lesson on compasses and chains, which allow you to get the right geometry, the Lancet art geometry for the sandbag dome and the Roman art geometry for the aircrete dome. We'll look at how to design your own doors and openings into your structure. We'll learn all about buttressing those important details that have to be present whenever you make an opening into a dome structure. We'll also have a detailed lesson on waterproofing, how to keep your structure watertight and how to divert the water away from your home. Then we'll go into foundation work. I'll teach you how to dig the trenches and how to keep them waterproof so the capillary action does not siphon up your wall. I will teach you how to make these robust archway forms for your sandbag dome and we'll roll our own tubing and build our own arch forms for the aircrete dome as well from start to finish so you do not have to get any engineering company to make and roll your own tubing we'll actually roll our own tubing using Hajar's special bender that he designed which is absolutely fabulous we'll build all these forms on site from start to finish then I will teach you all about building off the walls because we're going to be starting to build these walls in the same foundation for the aircrete and sandbag dome. The whole foundation is going to be made out of sandbags and the sandbag dome is going to carry on and the aircrete dome is going to be placed upon the sandbag foundation. So you will learn how to link the domes together, how to weave them so they stay strong, sandbag to aircrete, aircrete to aircrete and sandbag to sandbag dome. You'll learn all about this weaving which is very very important so the domes can withstand any hurricane or an earthquake. You will learn how to sculpt the bricks placing them around the window frame and you will learn how to place the sandbags around the window arches so you have the eyebrow stopping the water from entering your home as well as the acreage structure and of course the sandbag domes with a barbed wire reinforcement in between each layer of the super adobe sunken in ever so slightly with an extra bench ringing it on the outside it will pass as the strongest and cheapest structure on entire planet and will withstand 
any seismic activity. You are going to love the whole experience and you're going to build it from start to finish including the forms, including the foundations. We'll make our own air crete and I'll show you our refined version. We'll pour it into shapes, cut it up into bricks and whilst all of this happening you will be having a team hammering away at the bricks on top and finishing up up until the skylight level and another team will be building the sandbag dome so we'll be rotating and you'll get to experience and learn every single part of this construction from start to finish and wherever you feel like you need to get to know more about you go in and you learn about it you ask questions and we'll teach you <laughs> that's one strength of mine is that i just love teaching people i just want to teach people all over the world how to live sustainably off the grid and without the dinosaur matrix that's my true wish for the planet and all our brothers and sisters and i want to teach you how to build your own dome home without climbing into bed with the bank. The trickier side, the bricks actually have to be tapered and placed at an angle and I'll show you some awesome tips and tricks so you know what to do so the bricks don't fall down and be set in this position at this level and they'll stay there until they're set. You'll also learn a variety of finishing touches. I'll teach you how to make these awesome spirals really easily with sandbags and we'll also get to do some plastering so you know what it takes to complete your home from start to finish and whatever we don't complete you will learn in our living biodome video masterclass in fact just the masterclass alone already guarantees your full construction of your very own dome home but together with practical you are going to feel 100% confident and I want you to check what our other students had to say about this very training that was completed just a couple of weeks back. The raving reviews we had from our students will show you that people went out of here with exact knowledge on how to build their own dome home. What I learned here I would never manage to learn maybe I would need like few hours, a few years of my life and we just uh, within two weeks we're getting so much knowledge and so much new experience that it's really uh, the value of this is really amazing. It has been very interesting in terms of being it new, being it fresh. No one's doing this. This is the first of its kind here and the first of its kind in the world in terms of the merging of the technologies. It's new, it's fresh, there's a lot of research and development which happens to be perfect for really getting down to it and knowing what we are making and uh, refining it, honing it and having the opportunity which quite frankly once it's perfected you don't have anymore. So yeah, grateful for this opportunity to explore and actually work things out and think for myself. What can I say? Here I am building a home using power tools flinging mud, concrete, working with wood, all sorts of things I've never done my whole life um, which is amazing. Uh, amazing experience for me growing and having now the confidence to go and maybe build myself a little structure. In terms of how the course has been presented, um, I've had a great time, I've been learning a lot. Alosha is very, very knowledgeable about a lot of different things. Beautiful energy, great to work with them. And he's attracted all these amazing people into this workshop which I've made new friends, uh, connected with people in many different ways and I know that these people will be a part of my life going forward in some shape or form. Yeah, so um, I came here knowing nothing about building, never having worked with my hands and uh, after this, I mean, you can read all the theory you, you want, but you have to actually come here and do it to see how everything stitches together and the, just a little practical nitty gritties of building a structure like this, especially because we're doing some experimental stuff, some groundbreaking stuff. We have a sandbag dome over there combined with an air dome over here. It's, uh, it's new stuff, so a lot of challenges and that's exactly what you want at a workshop. Uh, you want to learn as much as possible in as short time as possible with every penny highly recommended come join the workshop enjoy the cooperation so many different people so many different skills ideas creating together coming up with solutions perfect Alosha's guidance is awesome always energized always getting the crew going come 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 finish this storm that we started mothers
and I love the fact that you're pushing boundaries. What I'm gonna learn from this community is just, it's gonna push me forward. It's the most, probably the community, the people, being hands-on, having the chats after work, that's been the most important thing, I think, of this whole experience. Finding like-minded people and working together as a team. It's been amazing. And, uh, to work with Alash has been really inspiring. His willingness to expand beyond his own, even his own horizons is really cool. It's inspirational in that sense. Yeah, I'm really excited to use the skills I've learned here and apply it back in the States where I'm from. And I forgot to mention, every morning, I'll start with a proper debrief session of the previous day's work, the refinements, and I'll give you all the theory necessary for the day's graft so you know exactly what we'll be doing that very day and the debriefing of what went wrong yesterday, how we could refine it. This is an experimental site. This is a place where we're allowed to make some mistakes. So come and join me and learn how to build your very own two types of dome homes from ground up, a sandbag dome and an aircrete dome from foundation all the way to skylight. And all the students of the live workshop are actually going to get my living eco home masterclass for the dome home construction. And you're going to learn other things such as plumbing, electrical, waterproofing, finishing touches. We are going to do a bit of plastering at the two week workshop, but of course we cannot finish it all. But you will have online training, which will explain to you step by step how to install windows, how to install the skylights, how to build the skylights from start to finish as well. You're going to have all the extra knowledge. So if you miss some notes or you don't remember something or the formulas, it's all there in the online training. And each student is going to get our dome home class valued at $160. Let me show you what else we're going to build. You're going to learn how to install windows so they're nice and safe and secure. You're also going to learn how to make retaining walls and terraces as well as an awesome spiral which we're going to roll and place into space. All of this has been constructed at our past two week workshop with just 18 students and the main dome was only three days from completion. And here is some of the creativity that we can experience. This is a buttress for sandbag dome. As I said, that anytime you make a large opening, the dome has got its weakest point at the door, so it can flop out. Here, you have to make either a tunnel, which you can connect to your aircrete home, or you, in my case, made a lovely couch that enters into our acreage structure and it will have a little fish pond there with a little water trickling. So during the live workshop we can play around with some of the creativity and if any of you folk got some interesting ideas we can possibly even have time to experiment or at least answer some of your questions and please bring your hard drives so there'll be over a terabyte of research coming from my side as well as other students will bring along some of their research so let's all share so we have the wisdom that we need to create our fully self-sustainable and abundant future. In the mornings, I'll lead some of the yoga classes and if any of you folk want to lead Tai Chi or anything else, more than welcome. And of course, bring your music instruments, the drums, the guitars, whatever you have, because we're gonna jam in the evenings around the fire. And I'd like to take the opportunity to hand over to my friends in Nepal, Peter and Daniel. They've recorded a quick video for you so you can see the setting where the workshop will be taking place. So you'll see all the great work they're doing with the biodynamic farming involving local communities in growing organic produce. Namaste. Namaste. And welcome at the land of the medicine Buddha. Our beautiful biodynamic farm in the heart of Nepal. Located next to the beautiful Masyandi River at 600 meter altitude, the farm is blessed with a moderate climate and stunning mountain views of the Himalaya. As the first certified biodynamic farm in Nepal, we practice a sustainable agriculture that preserves biodiversity without the use of any pesticides or artificial fertilizers. 
Here we mostly grow Ayurvedic herbs like Tulsi, Moringa and lemongrass for tea and incense under the brand of Nepali Gardens. Most of the workers are part of a learning program about biodynamic agriculture, where they also get daily English classes. Life on our farm is basic and simple. As we don't have direct road access, we limit our consumption. So we try to adapt to the permaculture principles, reduce, reuse and recycle. As much as possible we grow our own food and use what wild nature provides us. Over the last years we tried to combine local agriculture and biodynamic farming with the principles of permaculture. That's why every year we host a certified permaculture design course with participants from Nepal and all over the world. This year, for the first time, we have invited Alosha and his team to our farm to host a workshop about building an aircrete dome. As Nepal is still remembering the heavy earthquake in 2015, the benefit of this building form as earthquake proofed plays a big role for us. We think that this form of a bio shelter fits well into our farm environment. With their natural design, they adapt perfectly to the local landscape and create a magical new space for us and our guests. So we invite you to come to our farm and join this amazing two weeks workshop here. You will not only learn how to build an aircrete dome from scratch, also we guarantee you an authentic experience in Nepali countryside. It's going to be absolutely incredible living in rural Nepal and in ethnic communities and actually co-creating together because they're going to give us a helping hand. We're also going to be teaching them how to build these holistic natural buildings. So come along for the journey. It's going to be fully jam-packed from morning until 6 o'clock in the evening. We're going to graft and we're going to work hard and you're going to learn the all the details necessary to construct these two types of dome homes from two types of materials with two types of geometries because the acrete dome is actually a roman arch geometry and the sandbag dome is a lancet art geometry more of an egg shape so you're going to learn two types of geometries two types of materials and two types of different dome homes so come along for the journey it's going to be absolutely incredible have a great day. See you soon. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.